minutes from right now, we're going to show you a revolutionary treatment that some call a miracle cure. It eased my wife's pain. See how it can ease others. Dating sometimes lasting for days. Tonight, Ted and his wife Jody share their story of migraine headache pain. See how living with it is a nightmare beyond words and how a breakthrough treatment right here in Cleveland is making a difference. Special assignment is next. But first, let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Mark Johnson. 28 million Americans experience them regularly. I'm talking about migraines, but now there is realistic hope that these debilitating migraines can be a thing of the past. It's a personal story from my partner, Ted. Lee, in one out of every four households today, somebody suffers from migraines. Well, in my household, that person was my wife. I say was because her migraines are now gone. This story is personal for me, so much so that it makes it virtually impossible for me to be truly objective, but I'll try. It has to do with a revolutionary new surgical procedure that can eliminate chronic migraines 100%. With the Cleveland Clinic and University Hospitals leading the way, Cleveland is home to some of the finest research doctors and surgeons in the world. But it's a plastic surgeon operating out of a tiny one-story building in suburban Lyndhurst who is writing the book on curing migraines. And one of his patients, my wife, Jody Cleary, a chronic migraine sufferer who has had four migraines a week on average for the past 20 years. I'd like people in the world to know that they don't have to live with migraines necessarily. Jody first learned of Dr. Bauman Guyron's migraine research last year. And when she learned that he was open to new patients, she jumped at the chance. Well, I've had migraines since I was in my 20s. For those of us who never get headaches, let alone migraine headaches, what's it like to have a migraine? Oh, I don't think they can be described if you haven't experienced one. Um, a bad migraine is really a hideous experience. Jody learned of this promising new surgery when she heard that Dr. Guyron had discovered while performing forehead rejuvenation surgery on a patient in 1999 that in a follow-up the patient claimed she hadn't had a migraine headache for six months. A week later another patient repeated the same story. I was convinced that there's something to it. Dr. Guyuron then went back and checked 314 patients who had undergone similar procedures. And of those who had a history of migraines, nearly all of them were now either symptom-free or realized great improvement. Ted, every day that goes by, I'm more convinced that we are helping these patients. Often I woke up in the morning feeling uh, very, very ill, mainly uh, the nausea, the vomiting, the pain was excruciating. Viera Barnett is now typical of the migraine patients Dr. Guyron has operated on. Today, her migraines are gone. To help him with his research, Dr. Guyron has put together a team of headache experts. The early findings from reconstructive surgery and then the use of Botox to help pinpoint the source of migraines have led Dr. Guyron's team to help find and quell migraine trigger points. In surgery, problematic muscle and tissue and nerve components can be removed, eliminating these trigger points. If you can remove those triggers permanently by removing the muscles from around the nerves and prevent them from being squeezed on, then you will prevent the migraines from occurring. This is the first time we actually have had a chance to cure migraine. Jody got to know Dr. Guyron's team of specialists very well before she finally agreed to her own surgery. Dr. Guyron operated on my wife Jody a full half year ago here. He performs surgery and clinical tests here frequently as he continues to compile research to bring worldwide medical accreditation and acceptance of his migraine theories. His findings are staggering. We found out that in 92% of the patients, we are either eliminating migraine headaches or improving them at least 50%. Dr. Guyuren asked me to make um, a headache calendar. I was really shocked to uh, see it in record that I was accustomed to living with 20 migraines a month. Because her migraines came from so many areas, Dr. Guyuron worked on all of Jody's known trigger points. Dr. Guyuron has identified what he calls trigger points in the scalp that can be paralyzed by the use of, of Botox injections. Um, back here, uh, here and here, I, one is here. Jody's story is typical. Bill Prysock, like Jody, also had migraines, many lasting two to four days at a time. It's miserable. It's, it's, it's like having a knife plied into your brain. 
Bill Prysock is Dr. William Prysock, an MD himself, who underwent Dr. Gairon's migraine surgery a year and a half ago. It worked. I have not had a uh, migraine in a year and a half. Not one migraine? Not one migraine. Dr. Prysock, I imagine you had to be just a little bit delighted about the news that you were not going to experience migraine headaches anymore. What was your personal reaction to this? I'm ecstatic, and I know that my life is, has changed forever. The medical establishment, skeptics, and medical insurance companies are watching carefully as Dr. Guyeron continues with his elaborate research. So far, it has cost him $2 million out of his own pocket, but he's passionate about the track he's on. He knows this will be his legacy in medicine. Doctor, this work of yours has taken your profession in a whole different, dramatic direction. It must be very rewarding work for you. I can't describe to you how fulfilling this is. Maybe Dr. Gairon can't come up with the right words, but his patients certainly can. It is a cure. It is a cure, and I believe it. This procedure works 100% of the time, as far as I'm concerned. And as for Jody, my wife, her migraine cure? Probably more than 95%. And how does that make you feel? Terrific. It, it's, uh, it's a whole new life. It really is. I'm very happy for her and everybody else. Dr. Gairon's Lindhurst office has more information on this treatment, and you can call him at 440-461-7999. He has conducted, by the way, three research projects already, and his fourth is currently underway. Cleveland is the only city in the world where migraines are being treated this way. Since it is not an exact medical term, he personally does not use the word cure in describing this procedure, but believe me, many of his patients do. This research is very important, the accreditation mm -hmm. step, in terms of making this uh, an accepted uh, protocol for patients everywhere, right? And, and most important of all, an affordable protocol, because as it becomes more highly accredited, the insurance companies see what's going on, see how it saves people's lives, saves employers, and saves medical costs on the road, and they will start picking up a good part of the cost. It's really remarkable and what a difference it can make in lives. I've been impressed You've by these You've seen it yourself. People. Yeah. Thanks, Ted. We're back in a moment with sports. It was the most comprehensive test of cell phone dead zones and you told us about more. So we're on the road again with your trouble spots. A five on your side is